All right, let's go straight to breaking news. In battle, Spanish Fort Mayor Mike McMillan just released a statement on his arrest last week. Up until now, he hasn't said a word about being accused of slapping a city employee in the face last month. I tied a finger live at the Spanish Fort Community Center where he just got a copy of that statement. And Tyler, the mayor did show up at tonight's city council meeting. Yeah, Byron, he's currently inside the work session that started about an hour and a half before the city council meeting, which is set to start at six o'clock tonight. Before Mayor Mike McMillan walked into that conference room, though, the city attorney David Connor walked up to me and told me that McMillan was going to be here, but he would not be addressing any of the allegations against him. Instead, he gave me this written statement, a half a page statement, and I want to read part of that to you right now. It reads in part, I look forward to having my day in court where all the evidence will come forth and the truth will be bore out. And then he goes on to say, I am satisfied that after a full and fair hearing, the allegations against me will be disproved and I will be exonerated. McMillan is facing a misdemeanor harassment charge because he's accused of slapping a city employee in early October. Court documents identify the alleged victim as Lindsay Cooper. Cooper is listed on the city of Spanish Fort's website as the city's magistrate. McMillan was arrested Thursday after turning himself in. He was released on $500 bond. The alleged slap happened at City Hall on October 1st. And as we come back out here live, the Spanish Fort City Council meeting expected to start in just about an hour from now at 6 p.m. And we will, of course, be in that meeting. And we did try to reach out to the alleged victim today, but I have not heard back. I also tried to talk to McMillan's attorney. I was told that McMillan and the attorney would not be going on camera with us. We'll have much more coming up tonight on the news at 9 and 10 o'clock tonight. But for now, live outside Spanish Fort City Hall, Tyler Finger, Fox 10 News.